In this video, uh, we've got the curve C has equation x, y equals 100. So part A, sketch the curve C, giving the equations of the asymptotes. OK, so the first thing you need to recognise is that x, y equals 100 is just y equals 100 over x. So this is a bog standard rectangular hyperbola that will look like this. OK, and that would be my sketch of y equals 100 over x. Now, if you wanted to, you could choose a point and say, right, well, um, when x equals 1, for example, then you know that the y value will be 100. OK, so substituting x equals 1, y equals 100 as a reference point, uh, but that would be good enough as your sketch. Now, the equations of the asymptotes, well, the asymptotes are just the coordinate axes, and so that would be x equals 0 and y equals 0. These are the asymptotes. Now, the line x take away 2y equals 10 intersects the curve at a and b. Find the exact length of a, b. OK, so x take away 2y equals 10... Um, so that's when, uh, when y is 0, x is 10, and when x is 0, y would be minus 5. So minus 5, 10. So it would be a line that looks something like this. And so here are the points A and B. OK, I can label them whichever way around I like. Makes sense to do it that way. OK, so um, let's rearrange that to get x is equal to uh, 2y plus 10, adding 2y to both sides. And I'm going to substitute that into uh, this equation here. So x, <laughs> x has been replaced with 2y plus 10 times by y is equal to 100. So 2y squared uh, plus 10y Take away 100 is equal to 0. Divide through by 2, we get y squared plus 5y minus 50 is equal to 0. Um, then we can factorise that to get y plus 10, y minus 5 equals 0. So either the y equals minus 10 or the y equals 5. So now I can substitute those into, um, well, I guess either of them, really. I mean, um, really up to you. I mean, I could rearrange this to get x is equal to 100 over y. OK, and then substitute them into that one if I like. So when y equals minus 10, x is equal to 10, 100 divided by minus 10, which is minus 10. So minus 10 minus 10 will be a. And when y is equal to 5, x is going to be equal to 100 divided by 5, which is 20. So that point is uh, 25. OK. Right, so then the question says, find the exact length of AB. So we've now got this length here. And I'm going to draw that as a right angle triangle. So we're going from minus 10 up to 20, so that's the length of 30. And from minus 10 up to 5, so that's 15. So the length of AB is going to be equal to the square root of 30 squared plus 15 squared. OK. So, I don't know why I put my calculator over there. Just in the right place. So square root of 30 squared plus 15 squared is 15 root 5. Okay, so that's how we can find the length of AB.